Hey guys, Ray from Love the RV, and today I've decided to give this Bouge RV MPPT controller, 40 amp controller, a little torture test. So I installed this about a month and a half ago or so, and I've taken it out a few times boondocking, and it's worked quite well. Um, but I wanted to see how it would react to extreme heat, and today we're supposed to get up around 100 degrees Fahrenheit, high 30s Celsius, so be a good test for this unit. Um, it's supposed to have an over temperature shutdown. Also I'm feeding this uh, its max solar input at 12 volts is around 550 watts but I have 940 watts on the roof so that's more than this controller should be able to, to handle on the output but it does have a feature it's got a over wattage feature where if you feed too much wattage into it it should be able to handle it it goes into a current limiting mode so we'll test that and see if it can handle that under extreme conditions here where it's going to be really hot and we're going to have a really sunny day and it's late june highest sun we're going to see so it should uh, be able to put in its max wattage from the solar let's we'll see if this thing can regulate that uh, wattage and not uh, burn out or overheat um, people ask, you know, why do you have so too much wattage going into this? You could put in a bigger controller and get uh, get more current out of it. But really, what I'm doing is I'm over paneling my roof because most of the boondocking I do is in the southwest, where you have short winter days and it's low sun angle. Um, also, I do a lot of uh, boondocking on the west coast under trees and clouds. So I really want to be able to harvest more solar power. Um, so that when I'm when I'm in a low angle situation or I'm not getting full sun, I'll still be able to max out this controller. Anyway, I've uh, run my I got three lithium batteries, over 300 amp hours of uh, capacity, and I've run them down. You see minus 200 amp hours there, so they're they're at about a third charge. So should have lots of room to charge them up. It's uh, somewhere around 10 o'clock right now. I'm not getting max solar yet. The sun's a little bit low, but it'll come up later. Right now it's putting in 30 amps. And I'm going to see if it uh, shuts down or burns out and uh, how long it takes to recharge. And right now we're just going to take some temperature readings. You can see... The controller has been running for about 15 minutes now and right on this heat sink it's showing 90, 91 Fahrenheit. When I mounted this unit on the back here there is a heat sink on it that's how it cools itself so I actually put some aluminum brackets when I mounted it so I added a little bit of heat sinking and also pushed it away from the wall here so that it can be getting some airflow. Anyway, we'll let her go and check back and, and see how it proceeds. Okay, so we've had her going for an hour and a half or so, and you can see we got 32 amps. We should be pumping out the full 40 by now, but I think what it's doing is because it's so hot out, it's reducing its uh, charging, and it's kind of going into temperature protection. Just give you a shot here, right there. 124 Fahrenheit right on that heat sink part there so you can almost you can touch it but it's like kind of uncomfortable to leave your hand on there for too long so this this thing's getting pretty hot I think what it's doing is it's limiting the the charge because of that so we've put back about uh, 55 amp hours now I'll let it go, see what happens. It's still getting hotter out here. Okay, so I'm right at solar midday right now, which is just a little bit uh, after one o'clock. And you can see, I should be getting 40 amps for sure here. The sun is straight overhead. It's perfectly clear blue sky. And actually we're at 27 amps. So this thing is obviously throttling it down. Uh, also, my solar panels are probably getting pretty hot too, and a hot solar panel doesn't put out enough, but with 940 watts, I should be able to get 40 amps out of this. So obviously this thing is throttling it down because of heat. In my compartment here, it's 93, 
So right now it's 93 in the shade here. And uh, show you what the says on the heat sink here. 126. So it didn't go up too much in temperature on the heat sink, but it dropped some more amperage there. So it's just going to get hotter. We're at 93. Like I said, they expect it may even get up to 100 here today. So uh, we'll keep going. Okay, let's have another peek. So it's 2 o'clock and we're up to 99.9 .9 Fahrenheit in here. And we've got 27 amps being put in. And I'll just check the temperature here. Say 125.7. And what have we put it back so far? We're 96.8 amp hours from full, so we've put in over 100 amp hours in about four hours here. So it just seems like it regulates the the current that keeps running. We'll keep her going, see if we can fully charge these batteries. I think we're at about peak heat for today. It's 103.8 in the compartment here. We're charging still at 23.6 amps. And let's check the temp here. 124, so that hasn't changed much. All it does is seem to reduce its amperage as the heat rises. There we go, 104. And if people are curious uh, how our AC is working after I did the maintenance on it and I did the new roof, the white roof, and I installed the, the shades on our windows, Right inside the RV right now, it's uh, 78 degrees, so very nice. Glad that I did all that. And I also have my screen room up to help shade the RV as well. Anyway, that'll probably be the hottest temperature we'll hit today. And we're about 80% or so of the way to fully recharging the batteries again. So I'll just keep letting it go. Okay, final update of the day. We're at 98.6 for temperature in here, human body temperature. And we're still putting in about 8.2 amps, not too much. But we've cooled down quite a bit as far as the controller goes, down to 105. So the problem now is the sun's angle is getting pretty low and it's moving off away from most of my solar panels. So there's not much coming in. But we have come back as far as charging. We're at 97% full, so we've almost fully charged the batteries. And the thing is still working. I haven't been able to kill it yet. Well, there you go. Looks like that cheap charge controller can actually handle the heat. It's good, good to know that. Although I hope to never have to boondock in temperatures like that. <laughs> I was happy to stay in the RV most of the time in air conditioning. Anyway, if you missed my original uh, testing and, and kind of going over what, what the, the charge controller's features were and the install, I'll link back to that. And like I said before, I'll, I'll come back with a longer term test. I just wanted to take advantage of this opportunity to test it in extreme heat. We really uh, broke a lot of records here and rarely do we see heat like that. So. Till next time, Ray from loveyrv.com. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers, folks.